Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. All right, everybody, it is time for another upgrade tier list video. Who doesn't love accessories? All those little bits and bobs that are shiny and fun. For this video, it means we're going to focus on bags, offhand items, and lanterns. So what are we ranking? How are we ranking? This tier list contains my opinions on which items are worth upgrading and which ones not so much. Now I'm basing my opinions off of the stats of the items at various levels without reinforcement and whether the item itself is just useful in general or how its stats compare to other items of the same type. I also think it's worth mentioning that if you use the item a lot and you think it's worth upgrading, then it's worth upgrading. I'm not telling you how to play. The devs did a great job with the upgrade system to make a lot of items worthwhile at various levels. So if an item is working for your play style and you want to keep using it, do so. So what is each tier going to stand for? Let's start with S tier. This tier is the cream of the crop. The best items that are always worth upgrading are going to be here. A tier contains items that are usually worth leveling up to 18, either because you may use them a lot or because it's level 18 bonus is just worthwhile. B tier items may not be worth leveling up to 18, but they will stay with you for a long time and be useful at many different levels. C tier items are items that are worth putting a few levels into, but really only to tide you over until you can replace it with something better. Then we've got D tier items, which really aren't worth upgrading at all, but if you put a level or two into them, it won't be the end of the world. And of course, F tier items are a complete waste of time to upgrade. Don't even bother. All right, let's start off the accessories with the bags. First, we have got the belt pocket. This thing is going straight into F tier. It is not worth spending any time upgrading this belt pouch at all. Same is true with the cave pouch here. Just don't bother upgrading it. Replace it as soon as you can. Next, we've got the Explorer's Backpack. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into D tier. The upgrades for the Explorer's Backpack are really only worthwhile if you want a movement speed boost. Otherwise, don't bother spending any time on it. Then we have got Gorm's Stomach Bag. I'm going to also put this one into D tier. Gorm's stomach bag now provides boost to hit points, and in the early levels, spending a level or two to upgrade this could be worthwhile, especially as you're going to need those extra hit points. But once you replace the bag with a better bag, then I wouldn't worry about it. Now we've got Morpha's bubble bag. And I'm going to put this one right into A tier. It is a really, really good item and it has really good upgrades. It is worth spending the time to upgrade this to max. The Octarine bag, I am actually putting this one into D tier as well as you're really only getting glow out of it and six levels for two glow just isn't worth it. So this is D, maybe even F tier. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna put this in F tier. Don't waste your time. Next, we have got the Scarlet Shell backpack. And this one is also going into F tier as it's just not worth upgrading it. It's just not. Let's move on to lanterns. We have got the small lantern here, which is the first lantern that you'll get your hands on, and it is an F tier item. There is no reason to upgrade this at all. It just provides a little extra glow, but the other lanterns also provide the same amount of glow, so don't waste your time. Then we have got the regular lantern, and this one is actually going to go into A tier, as the boost to hit points is really good and works really well in early levels, and you'll hold on to this lantern for a while, so definitely worth it. The orb lantern here is also going into A tier, as it provides a really solid mining boost that upgrades very well as you level it up. So if you're looking for that mining damage boost, this is the lantern for you. 
And now we've got the Pearl Lantern. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into A tier also, because even though the upgrades aren't exactly the highest, it is a much higher level um, item. And so you don't have to upgrade it as much to get it to those higher levels. It is worth it to upgrade this to level 18. And that is the main reason why it goes into A tier, even though the upgrades aren't the best. Next, we have got the Pumpkin Lantern. And I'm actually also going to put this one into A tier as the hit point regeneration that you get from this lantern is pretty good. So if you need it, you need a little bit of HP regen, you can put this guy on and it's not going to hurt. I could argue that maybe it's should be put into B tier as hit point regeneration versus just raw hit points is an argument people can make. In fact, I'm actually curious, what do you think is better, extra raw hit points or more hit point regeneration? Leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts. Next, we have got all of our offhand items now, and we are going to start with Azios's Dash Feather, and I'm going to put this one into A tier. It's a really good item. It's an upgrade from the regular Swift Feather, which we'll get into in a minute, and really is just something that you may very well use all the way up to end game. And so I definitely recommend it considering how early you get the item. The Blue Leather Tome. This one is going straight into S tier. It is one of the best range damage offhands and you can get it before you bring down the Great Wall. Wonderful item, definitely worth upgrading to level 18. The blue caveling ID is going to go into A tier. Now I noticed this thing actually did get a bit of a nerf when they introduced levels as it used to provide just a flat 10% bonus. Now it starts off down at 8% but can get higher than 10% when maxed out. So it is worth leveling this up now as you will get a good benefit from it if you are using a dodge build. The Concealed Blade. This one is going into B tier. While this is one of my favorite offhand items and I recommend it in almost every build that I have, its upgrades aren't that great and you're not gonna get a lot out of it. So it's definitely worth upgrading, but I just don't know if it's worth upgrading all the way to max level unless you're going for a pure crit build. Then maybe it's worth it. Next, we've got the Core Iris, and this is going straight into D tier. I know, I know, you're going to scream, what? The Core Iris is amazing. And yes, it is. But try upgrading it. Not worth it. The upgrades suck. So don't waste a lot of time with the upgrades on this thing. The item is great, but it's great as is. If you've got the resources, go ahead, but otherwise, spend your resources elsewhere. This is also true for the Crystal Meteor Chunk. Awesome item, definitely a great offhand, but it just doesn't upgrade well. Which is why you may be a little confused when I put the Golden Jellyfish into C tier, because the Golden Jellyfish is not the best offhand item in the game, but the upgrades for it are good. And so if you're using it, you will find yourself wanting to upgrade it. Now, you're definitely going to replace this item, so it's not worth upgrading it to level 18. But if you find use from it, upgrade it. You're going to get use out of those upgrades, too. Let's talk about the Iron Shield next. The Iron Shield I am also going to throw into C tier, as it's basically just a better version of the Wood Shield. Put some levels into it. It'll get you some versatility out of versatility out of it until you can replace it with a better shield. You will replace it with a better shield at some point. So don't bother upgrading it all the way to 18, but you're definitely going to want to put a few levels into it. Next, we've got the Octarine shield, which I'm also going to place in C tier. You're probably going to replace your Iron Shield with the Octarine Shield, and so it'll be worth putting a few levels into the Octarine Shield as you're upgrading it, but you, you're you not going to be living with the Octarine Shield all the way into endgame, so you're not going to need to max this guy out. Next, we've got Omeros Beak, and if the book was S tier for ranged, the Beak is S tier for melee. If you're a melee build, this is one of the best offhand items that you can equip. Then we have got the Oracle deck, and I'm going to drop this one into D tier as well. Nothing against the Oracle deck. It's really a good item. Its upgrades are just terrible. Just 
maybe put a level or two into it if you really feel the need or if you really love the oracle deck go ahead but you will be disappointed with how much you spend versus what you get in return next we've got the pet rock and this one is going into a tier it is a solid item it is really good for those wild warden builds and it will really enhance anything that has your pets going for it i highly recommend it it's worth leveling up to 18 those upgrades are worthwhile then the royal gel which is going into d tier you could put a couple levels into it as it won't hurt you but there's better items there's better off hands and don't waste too much time with it and scorching aegis this is going into a tier this is one of your big end game shields you're going to want to level this one up to 18 if you are a shield user especially if you're a burning user that has some pretty solid upgrades to it so it is worth the extra damage and the extra cost next we have got the sentry shield and this shield is going right down here into f tier it sucks the upgrades are just not worth it i highly recommend either using the iron shield or the toxic defender you're gonna get a better shield and better bang for your buck now we've got the smithing glove which i am gonna throw into a tier as if you are a burning build this is an amazing item and it upgrades super well I will also say though, if you are not a burning build, this is an F tier item because it is useless for anyone who is not burning build. Unlike the Scorching Aegis, which does have some versatility otherwise, this item is useless to anyone outside of burning. However, the upgrades are amazing and they are worth every penny. So I'm still keeping it in A tier as a result. Then we've got the Swift Feather. Swift Feather, I'm going to go ahead and put into C tier as it provides decent upgrades and decent bonuses. However, it is replaced very quickly once you can get your hands on Azios's Dash Feather. It's not all the be all that great overall in the long run, and you're probably never going to level it to 18. Next, we have got the Toxic Defender, and this shield is going straight into A tier. You can absolutely use this as an endgame shield as well. It is wonderful, and it also works in great synergy with your poison build if you are going for a poison build. Next, we've got the Turtle Shell. If you're going to spend some time using it, put some points into it. Otherwise, don't bother. It's really not all that great. And the Wooden Shield is also going to get a D tier. The reason why it's getting D tier is because while it is a good shield and it will last you for a little while, you do have the iron shield now to replace it. So there's really no point in spending like anything more than maybe copper and tin to upgrade this thing because you will replace it with the iron shield eventually. And I think that just about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed yourself and until next time, stay crazy.